what's up guys welcome back to the vlog so excited to be bringing you along we're gonna do a little work week in my life if you're new here i work at a tech startup and i work in marketing and yeah i thought i would bring you along i haven't done a week in my life i don't think in a while i mean the florida vlog was kind of a week in my life but i feel like i've just been documenting little weekends here and there and little days so that would bring you along a week so it's gonna be kind of a busy week i kind of want to share a little bit more about what i'm actually doing for work so i feel like that's kind of interesting maybe i don't know so we're gonna do that and then also i leave to go to austin on thursday which i'm so excited about i almost like we almost didn't end up going so i mentioned this a while back but my sister and i got tickets to the dear media um podcast meetup convention in austin so it's the dear media they are the podcast network um founded by lauren and michael bostick and they have what we said they have the toast they have ariel Laurie's blonde files um they have like all of my favorite podcasts on there so they are doing a meetup in austin and it's one day long they're gonna have speakers booths giveaways food goodie bags all kinds of stuff and um I think we're gonna end up like meeting everyone too which is so cool so that is this saturday and we almost didn't end up going because my sister didn't have the day off of work and the tickets were really expensive the, the plane tickets and then my sister got the day off and i was like let's just try to make it work i ended up using my um credit card points because i just really wanted to go so that ended up like getting like my tickets for free because i use points so it was like let's do this so i ordered a few new things um like i ordered the new bays weekender bag and suitcase hopefully it comes in time so yeah i just ordered a few new things and yeah i'm excited so this week will kind of be like prepping for that but also definitely like a, a very intense work week because work has been really crazy recently i feel like i always say that but this time it's like on steroids so yeah things have been very crazy at work but all good things so yeah i'm gonna get started for the day um it's 9 a.m right now so right about time that i usually start and i believe i have some meetings this morning i probably should have looked last night to make sure um oh okay i actually have one meeting at 10. okay that's actually nice usually my mondays are filled because it's like catching up with the weekend my one on one with my boss and this week actually looks pretty open in terms of meetings but i have a lot of work to get done so i'm gonna start um, work for the day i guess i can kind of like take you along with what i do so i am um our social media and community manager but i'm kind of transitioning because i at this point i'm doing like so much more so like that's still my title but i'm doing a lot of other things so uh, my other colleague who works in social with me is actually out so i am going to check um <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I'm just going to go through and check all of our notifications and things like that. But this is really funny. I guess I'll share this. So that my company that we work for is named Octopost. And it's spelled like, it's pronounced like Octopus, but Octopost. Because we're a social media company. And a lot of people don't know how to pronounce it, which is so funny. When I was in Grand Rapids, I came up with the idea of a really funny video about all the different ways that we have heard people pronounce octopus so i want to show you because it's actually super funny um and i loved how the editing turned out um editing was all done by me we are kind of a very small team here but i'll show you how it turned out how to say wrong answers only <laughs> okay to post octopath octopus octopost 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 it's octopost how does so I thought that was really cute. Um, this will kind of break down everything that I do. Just kind of like set the scene for the week. Um, so you can kind of understand. Because a lot of people don't really understand what I do when I say it. Um, so I'm creating content for our socials. So the main ones that I cover are LinkedIn, Facebook, and TikTok. But LinkedIn is kind of like the big one because that's where our audience really is. And then my colleague Addie, which I love. She's literally my best friend. She covers Twitter and instagram and also does tiktok as well 
and then we both do employee advocacy which is we create content for our employees to share out so we're creating all the content for our corporate channels and then we are writing all the content that our employees share out as well and that is what our product is we are um, a social media engagement suite so it's all of this in one place and then i also have a podcast where i interview other b2b social media managers um, and then I just am starting now a webinar program. So I will be doing one webinar every single month, which um, I'm not going to lie. It's very, ooh, the sun is coming in. It's very intimidating to me because it's a very big undertaking. Um, so that's currently what I'm working on. And then I also help out with um, our customers and I join sales calls sometimes. Um, I'm also this week going to be working on a presentation that I have to give to one of our customers employees so like i create content for our employees i'm hosting a training for his employees um so there's a lot going on this week um but that's kind of like a little background so right now i'm gonna go on i'm gonna check all of our notifications over the weekend just make sure um nothing crazy happened just to make sure i didn't miss anything check dms things like that and then i will go ahead and get started on my to-do list for the day if we are talking like things that I love, these notebooks. This is by the brand Design Works Inc. I think. Design Works Inc. These notebooks are my all-time favorite notebooks because I just love how they're lined and it's probably hard to see, but they have little squares so you can check stuff off really easily. So I always write my to-do lists on one of these. I usually get the smaller one, but I think I accidentally ordered the big one this time. Um, so I'm going to go through this, write my to-do list for the day, um, and then hop on a meeting. Done with meetings for the day, and I actually just made my breakfast. I always eat kind of like a late breakfast, usually around, well I try to eat around 10.30 or 11 or else I won't be hungry for lunch, but I just got done with my meeting, so it's around noon now. And I wanted to show my typical um, breakfast. I just find it interesting to see what people eat, so... You know, I'm kind of on my wellness journey, if you will, so I always try to eat good protein um, and something green and a fruit. So I do this chicken sausage. It's so good. It's buffalo style. I got it from Wegmans. It's been my favorite. I do avocado with lemon and salt and then raspberries. Raspberries are my favorite fruit, so that's my breakfast. I had a really good meeting with my boss and we're just planning some stuff out and... Um, chatting about some exciting things coming up but i am feeling really sleepy i i don't even know why i feel like i didn't sleep well last night I've just been like so tired lately um but whatever so i'm gonna eat my breakfast keep working and then i also plan to work out for 4 45 at my favorite um place here in erie it's called fit plus it's kind of like orange theory so i my goal is to go four or five times a week last week i went four so Starting off Monday strong with a workout. I'm really excited. It's leg day. I just got this in the mail. This little crop top, tube top, I guess, or you could say corset. It was $10 on Amazon and it is so cute. I just tried it on. I forgot to grab a clip because it was downstairs, but I'll probably do like outfits and stuff when I'm packing, so I'll try it on again. But so cute the quality is actually crazy for literally being ten dollars it ties in the back as well it's so cute i'll have this linked on my storefront because what a good little find well i'm so glad that i just completely forgot <laughs> that i was vlogging um i also left my candle on while I was at my workout, I'm like a mess. So I went to my workout. I was running late, so I totally forgot to vlog, but I'm back now out of the shower. It's like 6.30 now, probably later. What time is it? Oh yeah, 6.30. <sighs> Those classes kill me. Like I literally have nothing left to give. Um, So I need to do some skincare. My skin is so dry. It got freezing here. It's raining and literally freezing. It's like 30 degrees. I don't know if you can tell. 
but it was pouring rain basically the whole day but yeah the workout was really hard i did get a good amount of work done which i'm very happy about um i was gonna maybe do some more work but after like actually looking at my to-do list i kind of got a lot done so i think i'm probably going to be done for the day um oh yeah i literally got basically everything done except for one little thing which i'm gonna do tomorrow morning and it's not even like a big deal so good day we had a good day and i'm gonna cozy up in my new pajamas these are so freaking cute i got these new pajamas from lake i'm sure you've been seeing them everywhere because i was also seeing them everywhere and was totally influenced they are the little short set so cute i'm gonna put this on they're so cute i will link these down below for you because i can link them online to know it but they are so cute i got a size medium and they are the perfect size like i've mentioned in other vlogs i've been having some bloating issues which again we are always bloated around here so i got a medium and they fit perfectly so i gotta do a little mask a little hydrating mask and i am just gonna chill in bed probably watch tiktok or maybe a youtube video and then um have some dinner with my parents. Watching TikTok. What else is there to do? Did you eat your dinner? Did you take it off of her? No. Oh, it came off. She ate her dinner and it was all over her face. Read a girl. Yum. This is the best flavor. Oh yeah. Ooh. Tell us what you made. It's a Jamie Oliver dish. <laughs> Covered toast, Italian sausage, fennel, red wine, onions and garlic. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have to turn it on. Oh, sorbet is scoopable. Mm. Oh, it's going to go for a while. Four, Four minutes. minutes. Okay, here we go. One can of pineapple in the Ninja Creamy. Oh, <gasps> does not look good. Yeah. You want to do it? I have to do it. Let's go. Take it out. Ending the night with this Ned Shut Eye Chai. It has adaptogens. I've shown this before. And I have the little stir thing. This stuff, honestly, the taste is hit or miss. But it literally <laughs> makes you feel like you're floating. Because it has so much ashwagandha. I think that's what it is. That makes you feel like that. So good. Hey, look, all kinds of yummy things in here but yeah the taste is kind of eh but it'll do the trick you know oh i feel like it's gonna spill good morning Gigi. good morning oh you smell the coffee She's an angel. Hi, honey. <laughs> Morning. Just woke up.
woke up a little bit ago. It's like 7.45 and I woke up with a headache. So we're gonna take some Advil because I usually try to let the headache pass and then it doesn't. And then my head just hurts three hours later still. So we're just gonna do it. I know I shouldn't take it on an empty stomach, but my head, I just, I have to focus today. Oh, that's annoying. But, mm, good morning, guys. I'm working on a podcast summary right now. I am losing steam now. I don't know what's been going on this week. I've just been so tired. And I tried to go to bed earlier last night. I had that magnesium latte. I took my symbiotica supplement. And I feel like I slept good, but... I always find it super hard to focus between like 10 and 2. I get like brain fog. I'm pretty sharp in the morning and then that chunk I get like, I feel like I'm in a bubble and then in the afternoon and evening I'm so clear. So that's an issue for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm writing this podcast summary right now. I got a few things done this morning. Last night was the Met Gala. So whenever there is a event like that, like a Met Gala or the Oscars or the Grammys, oh, someone's here i always try to create like a meme or something from it from it just to kind of stay on top of like pop culture and like trending things i'm sorry the dogs are going crazy okay um so i just try to like stay on top of things like that because those things always really get good engagement especially on linkedin because it's just kind of different and kind of is eye-catching. So I created one of those this morning. And then I'm also running an employee advocacy contest at the company right now. So I had to give a little Slack update of who was winning and just remind them of the prizes and things like that. So I got that done. Now I'm just finishing up writing the summary. And then I think I need to run to the post office. Well, I know I need to. I'm just trying to decide when I should go. Also, my skin is so dry today, like I was mentioning yesterday. There's something going on. I don't know. I think I need to get a humidifier for my room because my skin is just like cracking off. It's so frustrating. It is snowing right now, so I know it's the weather that's doing it because it was like perfect. But at least we're clear, you know. I honestly am not going to complain because the skin is clear, so no complaints. We're just keeping moisturized. Same with my lips. Keeping moisturized and juicy. Because um, I'll be in the warm weather on Thursday. So hopefully we'll get hydrated back up there. Um, but yeah, gotta run to the post office because I'm selling stuff on Poshmark. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Poshmark, it's always linked in the description. But um, I have some pieces that just sold. I always try to keep it up to date. I need to update it again, but I still have a good amount of stuff on there. Um, so I sold a set active set, um, like a sweat set, and then I sold a pair of Aritzia sweatpants. So I need to box those up and send them out. Well, I actually need to go to the post office so I can get boxes, and then I'll drop them off on the way to my workout, I think. Um, but I also have to drop something off. Um, I ordered some stuff from Skims. And I have to return all of it except for one thing. So that's lovely. It just did not work out. And I was very upset because it was very soft. But it was see-through. And you could see everything. So I actually posted a try on haul on my TikTok if you want to see it. But everything was so cute. It just was see-through. So I'm probably going to actually go run at the post office now. I feel like that's a good break to just kind of get my mind clear because i feel like i'm just not coherent today like i don't know what's going on like not one real thought is flowing through like i i really i need to like do something i feel like i need to go for a run magic uh to spit everyone into their own breakout rooms uh we daniel how do you know that i'm eating a chocolate bar for my dinner <laughs> a little later in the day now we are done with the customer event it was like four over four hours on zoom um but it was really good and i'm now just getting some podcasting stuff done i just made this protein ice cream we got the ninja creamy and it is so good it literally makes anything into ice cream so this is just fair life clean simple eats cotton candy protein um and that's it it literally is 
so good and creamy so this is like a little snack that's 20 grams of protein right there so a little snack as i finish up work and then um i'll go to my workout later but i just wanted to make something like a little sweet because i always like having a sweet treat throughout the day and i just needed a little a little something something but day is going good i'm definitely really tired um so i should try to get to bed kind of early tonight because i know pff, boy that looks crazy um i know tomorrow is kind of gonna be a long day because i'll be traveling i feel like every time i get a revolve order i'm like this is my favorite order ever but this time i actually mean it i actually just got my package it's right back here and i just tried on the dress you guys it is so cute let me set this up here so you can get the full effect and i'm gonna wear cowboy boots with this i think i'm gonna wear this to the actual like podcast event i feel like it is such a good austin dress because it's gonna be like 90 degrees we have the mesh so i won't be freezing inside paired with cowboy boots like it's still dressed up and fun but it's comfy so this is the first dress this is from majorelle yes and i will have all of this linked in the description if you click revolve faves I have it all linked there but the other stuff i got is equally as cute starting with these jeans i hit the mother load with these jeans never fit me well i swear my abercrombie ones are the only ones that actually fit me well these are super down it's a new style i believe let me get the let me get the exact name for you if i can find it if it's on here i don't think it's on here but it will be linked but these fit me so well they're comfortable they're flattering they're the perfect length i'm five two so i'm a little short so jeans are always super long on me but these are perfection they're kind of like straight leg and they don't have any distressing and they're beautiful they're just they're perfect they're really perfect so love these i will make sure they're linked below if you're on the lookout for a new pair of jeans these are amazing and i believe they are on the more affordable side i think they're around $70 which is not horrible for jeans so got that this was the clothes that I was wearing when I got too excited and changed the next thing I'm so excited we'll see how this looks on this is from lovers and friends it's a little bodysuit gorge I don't know if I'll be able to fill that out but it looks stunning next up is a little bustier this is also majorelle majorelle has like the fairy princess vibes so here's a little bustier crop i really really love this and i think the little tie um straps are cute i love when straps tie just think it adds such a nice little touch next i got a swimsuit this is from the brand camila co coelho never heard of this brand um and i just thought this was a beautiful color so the top looks like this very cute and then the bottoms are like very high hip um they look like they're gonna be a little scandalous but i think that is really cute and then i got this jean skirt which i just tried on and it fits which i'm very excited about because i have a hard time with jeans and like denim so this actually fits me perfectly which i was really happy about and i thought it was different i've never seen a jean skirt like a cargo skirt so it has little pockets which actually will be really nice for like um concerts and like i'm going to a music festival this summer or a country music festival so i feel like that would be really nice for like lip gloss and like my wallet so it actually come in handy but let me see what time it is if i have enough time i can try some of it on um okay i have like 10 minutes until i absolutely need to change for my workout so let's try some of it on let's do um let's do the bodysuit first okay i was nervous about this one being like tight enough up here um i don't have it zipped all of the way so maybe if i zip it all of the way it'll get a little tighter but i'm alone um hold on one second i think there's a lot to work with here i can't get it up all the way but this is really cute I had to try this swimsuit on because I knew it was going to be one that makes you just look snatched. Like, I feel like I don't actually look this good, but 
wait that's not good lighting i feel like this is one of those swimsuits that's just so flattering look i don't actually look this snatched but this is just like making me i love it like i feel like tops never are this flattering on me what the heck this is so cute like i never ever ever have tops that like actually make me look like i have something so y'all need this keep staring at these they're just so beautiful love 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 having flowers but i just got dressed for my workout thought i would share my outfit because i always forget about this really cute set active bra it's really cute and every couple of months i rediscover it so i'm wearing that and then i'm just wearing plain leggings from they're from amazon they're really good actually and then this is just a little aritzia tank that i threw not tank little sweatshirt that i threw over because my lululemon one is dirty but i have two minutes until i need to walk out um but next time you see me i'll probably look disheveled <sighs> okay that was fun <laughs> that was really hard um but i just got back and that was brutal not gonna lie that was um pretty brutal trying to make a makeshift tripod um i just got a little package so i swear by the lux unfiltered gradual tanning lotion i love this i get the santal scent i love this because it looks even every time and when it um wears off it doesn't look scaly the foaming like tanners that i used to use like i haven't used a mousse tanner in like three years probably i haven't used it in forever because once sivan made this i've never gone back because it just goes on so smooth it looks even and it doesn't look make you look like you have snake scales <laughs> when it comes off so this is just like the original one but they came out with a deep one which i just got in the mail and i'm really excited because this one definitely gets you looking tan, um, but it's gradual, so it gives you like a good glow. But if you really want to get dark, you'd have to do like two days in a row, which is fine. But this one is in deep, so it's just made to be like a darker one. I wonder if the packaging is any different. Let's see here. I feel like it probably is a little different. Oh yeah, it's like a little, it's a little darker. Is it? Yeah. Oh, they're like different heights too. They must have like re just designed it a little bit because it's like a little shorter where you can see it's like just a little bit darker. But I'm going to try this after my shower. But I love, love, love Lux Unfiltered. And all of their products are clean. She actually, Sivan, Sivan Ayla is the founder of this. And she actually made it when she was pregnant. So she formulated it to be like completely safe and free of all the gunk and gross stuff. So love this, ride or die. Um, and excited, perfect timing so I can be tan for Texas. Okay, I'm sweating. I need to take this off. I'm like actually dying. Um, but I'm going to jump in the shower and then I actually have quite a bit of work to finish up. So I'm going to be working a little bit. But I honestly don't think that I'll be working like too too late like i only have about like an hour and a half work work an hour and a half worth of work left i'll see you guys <laughs> good morning guys it is pretty early right now it's 6 30 i got up around 6 and i just made some coffee about to start working for the day just to kind of get a head start um but of course I'm working from bed but I can't wait to show you the tan. It looks so good. So I will show you guys like once the sun comes up a little more. But I mean you can probably already tell. It looks so good. Obviously I didn't do my face, but it's about 8:20 something now, and I'm just curling my hair so it's ready for the day because I'm gonna have to be like all packed up and ready to go tonight. Um my flight's at six, so I have to be ready by like 4:30, um but my airport is like super tiny so well i don't have to be there too super early but i just want to make sure i'm like all prepped and ready to go because i'm gonna have to like hunker down and get a lot of work done so i thought i would just like 
curl my hair and get it out of the way since I got a big chunk of work done this morning. So that was really good that I woke up early and was like really productive. Um, but yeah, just clearing my hair now, watching Maggie girl. And I'm starting to lay some stuff out on the chair over there that I'm gonna pack. And then I also have to do a huge load of laundry. Um, but we're only there for two, three nights, two full days. So I really don't need like a ton. I just need like one outfit for the event and then two outfits to go out to dinner and then um, outfits to like grab coffee in the morning. So honestly, like, I don't really need too much. So it shouldn't be crazy. And my bae's luggage is coming soon. So I'm so happy that's gonna come in time. I'm about to sit down and work, but I just finished picking up my room, putting a few more things together, um, getting ready to pack and stuff. And as I was curling my hair, it, it went away, thank God, because I just put some stuff on it really quick. But I accidentally, I haven't done this since I was literally a teenager, but I accidentally like bumped the curling iron to my skin and burned it. But my esthetician gave me this stuff. It's called Cell Protection Balm. And it's for like burns and rashes and it's to help heal after like um, you get like micro needling and things like that. I don't know what is in this shit, but if I ever have any redness, or like a burn or like a bug bite anything i put the shit on it and it's gone so thank god it was like i mean maybe you can still kind of see it a little bit right here but it was like all red <laughs> i was freaking out because i'm like of course my skin is finally clear and i'm gonna have a big big ass burn on my face so i just lather this on really quick and it's gone so very happy about that also i was gonna update you on the tan i, I do still have to rinse it off i'll just give you a sneak peek of like my belly because i put some um pajama pants on but it turned out really good i need to wash my hands better next time but i'm loving the way it turned out like it just looks really good um but i'm gonna go make another cup of coffee but i just got my room all picked up and making sure i have my airpods charged gonna charge my ipad next and then i just started laying out a few more um things that I want to pack so these are some of the shoes I'm bringing these are from nasty gal like forever ago and I wear them like non-stop they're such a good shoe they're I'm literally wearing them into the ground because it's starting to rip off so I need to get another like replacement espadrille for the summer because I, these are just my go-to's these are my cowboy boots these are Sam Edelman I believe is it Sam Edelman where would it say would it even say Okay, it doesn't say, but I believe these are Sam Edelman. I got them on Revolve um, like last year. So, I'm going to bring those. And then I just laid out, literally I'm bringing every single thing I just got in from Revolve. I'm going to bring my cowboy hat. And then I just laid out a few more things, um, like a linen pants. And then I have like a few other cute tops in here. The one I got from Amazon. Some sweatshorts and stuff for the mornings when we're grabbing coffee. But I'm going to keep putting things together um oh let's see who is slacking me what was that we have the whitening strips on and i laid everything out to pack so that when hopefully my luggage gets here i can just pack everything up i also ordered packing cubes so hopefully they're, they're supposed to come today so hopefully they do so i just want to give you a quick overview i have all the shoes i'm bringing over there i'm gonna wear my birkenstocks on the plane here are the outfits um, for the trip, some travel outfits for the way home, and just like an additional comfy outfit if I need it. And then I wanted to share what I bring in my carry-on. So this is going to be in addition to like my laptop, iPad, and then all my tech stuff. So always bring headphones. And then these are the little things that I just love to bring to just make a premium travel experience. So I always bring tea with me to either like make tea. I've never really made tea on the plane. I think they can do that, but like I just use it for the hotel and stuff. So I always bring tea. I always bring magnesium and vitamin C. And then I just stuck in um, a super greens one and then a glutathione just to make sure that I'm feeling my best. And I like to take vitamin C and magnesium every day. So brought that and then little things that I always always have always bring shot wipes my mom has my other ones in the car apparently so I'm gonna bring like a stack of shot wipes I always bring a pen and um lotion is a necessity hand sanitizer a hair tie Advil this is key and then I always bring some little things just in case so like lip balm I have one in my purse but I just keep one in here just in case hydrocortisone you never know when you're gonna need this and when you need it and don't have it 
is horrible. So I had a really bad rash in Florida, as you probably saw, and I needed this so badly. So I'm bringing this again in case anything happens. And then cell balm, again, it's kind of like this, but this is just like, can go anywhere. It can be used as lip balm, can be used to like slug your makeup at night, like everything. So these are kind of like my necessities that I always bring. So I'm going to put those in a little bag. Um, this drawer is a mess right now, but I have a few different bags. So I have like this Glossier makeup bag. I have this bag and then I have this bag. This one's broken so I need to ask my mom to fix it really quick. Um, but I'm gonna put everything in bags. Have one for makeup, have one for toiletry type things, and have one for like tech stuff. So hopefully my mom gets home soon so she can help me. But my light is flashing at me so I'm gonna plug y'all in and I will see you guys shortly. You guys, look what game. I'm so excited it came just in time. I have to leave around like 4.45 and it's um, almost 3.45 so I have about an hour. But I'm so happy it came just in time. So I'll kind of show you. I'm like still kind of unboxing it and taking all the wrappings and stuff off. But this is just like huge. It has a little zipper right here on the outside. Which is nice. And then um, it fits on the back side of the luggage. It has a little zipper area underneath, which is good for like shoes and stuff. I actually might put my shoes in there. We'll see. Um, but then on the inside, let me take her down to see how much room we actually got going on here. There's a strap if you want to carry it over your shoulder. Um, this is for like a laptop. And then we have just some little zipper pockets inside oh this is perfect for all that little stuff that i have right there okay that's perfect cute love 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 i love the color and then this is super nice it's padded right here and then i love that this has an extender oh i need to make sure i um set my lock um but here we go Inside of here is so cute. So this, these clip right here, and then you have this little thing, which you can put stuff in. And then here's this, um, there's also a little thing right here. And then you have two packages, I wonder what's in here. What is these? Ooh, it's like little bags. Okay, cute. Little bags if you need. Probably for like dirty clothes. Yeah, dirt <laughs> dirt bag. That's cute. Probably won't bring that though. Um, but those are cute. So this is nice. Um, and then here. So really loving that. And I think I probably will actually end up taking that thing out. Because I usually don't like when those... I don't know. We'll see. But this is really nice. Like one for undies. For bras. Love this. So we're going to pack her up. And get rolling here but i'm so happy that all of that came i'm all packed and ready to go i just have my laptop charging but i'm gonna pack that up i will let you guys know if that fits under the seat um in the next vlog i'm very curious to see hopefully i don't get charged for it but i think it'll fit but i thought i would just end up the vlog here and i will see you guys in austin so thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys the next one bye guys